For activity four, using the key or the um, map that we made of Roy G. Biv earlier, we're going to use these three empty wells and determine what our three unknowns are. Do you remember these were something I showed you at the beginning? Unknown one, two, and three. We're going to figure out what those are. And we're going to use our key here to determine it. And we're going to use our universal indicator because remember it can test from zero to 14. And since we don't know what any of those three are, we need the entire range. So it'll be easier to use this guy, this universal indicator. So we're going to add one drop to wells 10, 11, and 12. And then we're going to test our unknowns. So let's put a drop of unknown one into that first universal indicator well and see what color it turns. All right, that was unknown one in this well here. Let's do unknown two. Can't leave the lids off of these because they dry out. So this is unknown two. There's unknown two. This well. And then the last one, unknown three. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is unknown three. So let's look at the comparison in colors. I'm thinking about this color here. What is that close to? Now remember we've got pH one, three, five, seven. Remember seven is always neutral, it's green, that's water. So one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. If you were to find this unknown number one, what does it look like up here? Does it look more like the orangey or the red? Orangey is a new word. Does it look like the orange? I'm sorry, or the yellow, not red. It looks yellow to me. So we would put that in number five. Unknown one has a pH of five, around five, and it turns out that it has a pH of 5.2. So unknown one has a pH of 5.2. It is boric acid. Boric acid, if you've ever heard of that. Uh, boric acid is this first one, it has a pH of 5.2. You don't need to memorize the pH of the unknowns. You simply know that you can use the universal indicator to detect the unknowns. Let's look at unknown number two. What color is that close to? So even though this is on camera, it might be a little hard to see. But you can see it looks more like this one, doesn't it? It's closer to this orange. Here. Now remember, this is red. So pH of 1 is red. pH of 3 is closer to an orange, where pH of 5 is a yellow. So this orange matches this orange. So we would put this pH uh, at around 3. And as a matter of fact, the unknown 2's pH is 2.9, and it's acetic acid or vinegar. Unknown 2 is acetic acid or vinegar, and it matches here. So a pH of 2.9 or three, you could say. And then this last one, the unknown three. So the third unknown is in our basic end of the scale, right? Remember, we have nine, 11, and 13, and we can see that this blue, uh, we're gonna match it. Now, I'm gonna help you out with this one. So unknown three, because all these, I'm sure, look the same on camera, but this one and um, this one match. So we've got an 11 here. So unknown three, unknown three matches the pH of 11, getting you know up the scale a little bit, but just a tiny bit to 11.6. This is sodium carbonate, sodium carbonate. All right, so using the universal indicator, we determined what our three unknowns were. They were boric acid, acetic acid, and sodium carbonate. They had pHs of 5.2, 2.9, and 11.6, or you could just say a pH of 5, 3, and 11. And that's how we match the colors. We use this key with our universal indicator showing us Roy G. Biv.